make a start on these mince pies and today I'm going to show you how to do the pastry. So what I decided to do, I decided to do this series as two separate videos. One showing you how to make the pastry and one showing you how to make the mince meat. Just to keep the videos nice and short because I know a lot of people may not want to make the mince meat. Some people may not want to make the pastry. So it's totally up to you how you want to make your mince pies. Okay, we're going to make a start on our pastry. So again, it's really simple. We have three ingredients, so we've got some caster sugar, some plant-based butter and some plain flour. Water is here, just to add, add a bit every now and again just to make sure it all comes together. And here in my dish is my homemade mince meat. Uh, there will be a link in the top corner on how to make that, but we'll just move that over to one side for now. So what we'll do first, we will pop our oven onto a gas mark 6. Get that nice and warm. Okay, and we'll start by adding our butter to our flour. And we're just going to rub this together. So rub it in between our fingers to rub in all the flour into that butter. So as I say, this is your plant-based butter. So I'm using a flora buttery for this. Because I want my, my pastry to be nice and buttery. I love making mince pies. So this recipe that we're doing today is one that I've done with my mum. And making mince pies is something that's a bit of a fun memory for me. And it's nice that I can share this with you. When we were younger, me and my brother used to help my mum make the mince pies. And we had like a little conveyor belt. So one of us would be doing the filling while the other one would put the tops on. And we used to make loads of them. Mum would take them into work, she would give them to friends and she would also make them for family. Everybody wanted my mum's mince pies and it was really nice that I was able to help her and, and make them with her. So that's where my love of mince pies comes from. I love having those kind of memories. If you've got any nice memories about mince pies or any Christmas memories that you want to share with me, pop it in the description below. I love to read your stories. Can't be a good Christmassy story. Okay, so that's crumbled in nicely. It's lovely. There we go, see there, all the flowers are nicely crumbled in. All the butter's nicely rubbed in, should I say. Okay. This wouldn't my channel, would it, without being getting all messy? Every recipe I do, you probably see that I'm getting a right mess. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna rinse my hands off and then we'll carry on. Okay, so now we're going to add in our caster sugar. Put that in there as well, so we're just going to give that another stir. Start bringing it together. Okay, and then we're just going to add in there as well. It's about three to four tablespoons of water. There we go. Just to help bring that dough together. What I like to do with this is just use the back of your wooden spoon to help combine it all and bring it all nicely together. You can always add a little bit more water if you feel that it's not coming together very well. Um, it's absolutely fine to do that. I'm going to get my hands in there. Okay, so pastry is looking lovely. So what we're going to do, I'm going to leave this to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes in the fridge. So we're going to get some cling film. And I'm just going to wrap it up in some cling film. Just to help that rest for a bit. And there we go. Pop it back in the bowl. And I'll pop that into the fridge now for about 10 minutes my pastry is resting in the fridge I'm going to grease up my tin so you can see here I've got a mince pie tin um, so it's got lovely little holes at the bottom so let's make sure that you don't get any soggy bottoms and it cooks nicely through so all I'm going to do is get a bit of my flour buttery so it's your plant based goodness and I'm just going to grease them up I'm just going to grab a bit of the top of the butter lid a bit of butter I'm just going to go around each one Make sure they're nicely done because so we don't want anything to stick. There we go. So it's all greased up and ready to go. So all we need now is our pastry once it's ready and we can start making our mince pies. 
Okay, so my pastry has been in the fridge now for around 10 to 15 minutes. So we're gonna get going making our mince pies. Okay, let's give it an unwrap. Oh, look at that, it's a lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly. So I'm just gonna cut that in half. So I'm gonna use half of the bottom and half of the tops. And we'll just keep that half covered while we're doing the six. Bit of flour on my work surface. A bit of flour on my pin as well. Last thing we want is our pastry to stick. And we're just gonna pin that out. We don't want it too thick and we don't want it too thin either. So let's give it a nice pin. my large cutter and cut my shapes. You don't have to use a cutter, you can do it by eye. I just find it easier to do it with a cutter. It saves a lot of time. Just cut them out. Take away your excess bits and then get your tray and just pop them into your tray like so. There we go. filled up in the tray. So now we need to put in our filling. We want to put enough in but you don't want too much in then it overflows. all full and ready to go. And now I'm going to make the top. Exactly the same as you did the bottoms. Just roll out the other half of the pastry and make sure you cut it with your small cutter. I'm not going to dampen the edges to seal them, they will seal themselves. Let me just put the lids on. It's giving me to just give them a bit of a squeeze around the edges. Perfect, nice and full. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to poke two holes in the top. Just to help them cook and stop them from overflowing so much. And if they do overflow, they'll flow overflow over the top of the mince pie and it'll taste really nice. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay, so there's my mince pies all done. I'm going to pop these into the oven now. So we're going to pop them in the oven for around 20 minutes or until brown. So just keep an eye on them around the 15 minute mark. Just double check, see how they're doing. They may need longer or they may need less time. Um, okay, so let's get these in the oven. I've just got my mince pies out of the oven. They are looking lovely. They're lovely and brown. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let these fully cool down before I remove them from the tray. 
Um, but I love how I can see like the ooziness of the mince filling coming through as well. Once they've fully cooled, I'll show you how I'm going to finish them off. It's dead simple, really simple to finish. And then that'll be it, they'll be done. Okay, so my mince pies are now lovely and cool. So I'm going to remove these from the tin. There you go. Oh, they're lovely. I can't wait to have one of these in a bit. Let me know at the bottom how you like to have your mince pies, what you like to have with them. I'm always interested to see what, how people like their mince pies. I know that some like them with, with ice cream, some people like it with cream. There we go. Okay, there we go. So it's my little mince pies. And all I'm going to do now is just to give them a coating of icing sugar just to finish them off. I'm going to, I've got a sieve. There we go. And I'm just going to finish them off. And some icing sugar. Look at that. They look delicious. I think my mum would be proud. There you go. That is it, that is then done. And it's as simple as that, homemade mince pies. I hope that you've enjoyed doing this one with me today. It's been a really good one for me. It's brought back some really fond childhood memories. I'm loving the smells in my kitchen at the moment. It's bringing Christmas that little bit closer. If you have enjoyed it, do give me a like. And if you want to see even more really simple plant-based recipes and some more Christmas recipes, I have got some more to come. Uh, do subscribe to my channel and if you've got any questions comments any stories that you would like to share from your childhood pop that below I'll look forward to reading them and getting back to you thank you for watching <laughs>